What you doing here working? We got a party to go to in 30 minutes, man. Come on. Bro, I got some stuff to do. There's some things I want to accomplish in my life. I got to get it done today. You guys go on ahead. Damn! Looks like he's giving some excuses. Man, we got to catch you later. Three days later. Hey, hey, hey. What are you guys doing here? What do you mean what I'm doing? Do you know how long we've been making excuses together? I mean, we wrote, he's hanging with temptation. I don't think this whole thing about success, convenience, hanging out, dude, this ain't cool. You need to make a choice right now. Yeah, yeah, well, well about that. Listen, there's things I want to do in my life. I want to go places. It's not you, it's me. It's over. My name is Paul Feldman, president and founder of Insurance Newsnet, and you're watching Living Money Smart. Hey guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit the notification button so therefore you can be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you hit like, drop your comments, and share this because sharing is caring. Also, we're reading this month, this book, Lincoln on Leadership. And if you tweet me to answer the question I have towards the end of this vlog, I will send this book to you. From my desk to your home, from my desk to your office. Tweet me here towards the end of the video the answer to the question I will ask. In your journey towards success and building your dream lifestyle, you're gonna run across at least a few characters the character of success, the character of convenience, and the character of temptation. Part of the process of building a business from employee to entrepreneur, from part-time to full-time, from active duty military to the civilian life is having to deal with eliminating excuses. There are three toxic behaviors that allow one to create more excuses for themselves that creates an environment for somebody to get nowhere. Check out what my mentor, Patrick Bet David, host of Valuetainment said about these behaviors. Number one, feeling and acting helpless. Number two is uh, blame. You know, we act like victims. Number three is self-pity. Self-pity is feeling sorry for yourself. Some of the biggest excuses you're going to hear is this. Don't have money. I'm good. It's too far. Family has said, what are you doing there? You're not making any money. Just get a job just like everybody else. I'll do it later, tomorrow. You know what? It's a pyramid. It's a scam. It's too good to be true. And I'll never, ever make that type of money. Convenience sticks to excuses. They justify why they can't do something and would rather settle than trying to improve. However, success takes ownership of the current situation and chooses to eliminate their excuses. I mean, have you ever heard somebody saying, and this is a phrase I hate, I despise this statement, which is, it is what it is. Why? Because it's said in a way that when people say it is what it is, they're expressing the fact that they have zero control over the situation in which they actually do. So here's some five thoughts I have for you to eliminate excuses from your life once and for all and finally getting to the lifestyle you deserve. Tip number one. You are not gonna change anybody. Listen, talk to people that want an opportunity versus those that need an opportunity. Hanging around those type of people that suck the life out of you, you're gonna be ending up doing more CPR than EPR. Tip number two, why versus what? Persuade and influence somebody about why you're doing what you're doing because talking from a position of passion is a lot whole easier than talking from a position of memory. Number three, lead with your personal example. You gotta show that what you're doing is just not something you're talking about, you're actually walking about. 
You're leading because you're showing that you're doing. Which leads me to point number four. Stay consistent. Success does not happen overnight. It's not something you put in a microwave and 30 seconds later, boom, you have success. When you stay consistent, your doubters, your naysayers, I can say, you know what? I'm not sure exactly what you're doing, but I respect the fact that you're sticking with it. And back to tip number three, you're showing results because you're leading, and you're just not talking, you're walking. That's how you can eliminate a lot of personal excuses and a lot of temptations from other people. Tip number five, challenge their point of view. See, in any journey, when you decide to make a bold decision, when you decide to put that financial flag in the ground, you're going to receive a lot of people laughing at you, doubting you, and skeptical for what you're doing. I have a three-step process when somebody pushes back on you. It's called A-I-A, acknowledge, isolate, address. Let me break it down. Somebody says, hey, I don't think what you're doing is right. I think it's a scam. You should just get a job. You should respond by saying, hey, I get totally what you're talking about. It's completely opposite of what we grew up with. So you acknowledge them, that you're hearing them, and that you're listening to them. Isolating their excuses, isolating their objections. For example, somebody says, you know what, I don't have money, or I don't have the time. Great, outside of that, is there any other reason why you wouldn't lend me an open ear to what I'm doing? Who do you know that isn't locked up in what they're doing? Or who do you know that isn't satisfied with where they are from their career the last one, five, 10, 15, 20 years. Here's my final thoughts about this. We're reading this month, this book, Lincoln on Leadership. And in chapter three here, he says here, in terms of persuading rather than coercing, he says here, discourage litigation. Persuade your neighbor to compromise whenever they can. For the most part of my career, my father has been one of my biggest critics, not necessarily in my corner all the time. Chances are there's things that he went through in his life that may not have given him success. And in order to protect me from those failures, he's just telling me to settle down, get a job, because that's actually what he did. And so using some of the points I just talked to you about, by staying consistent, by influencing somebody with my own personal example, following through with what I said, a lot of success started to happen. My wife and I, we took my father to Hawaii. We took him to the Hilton Wakaloa. We took him to a private dinner with my mother on the beach at the plantation of this entire resort. Moonlight, waves, tiki torches. And guess what? We woke up the next morning. My dad said, listen, I had a blast last night. Let's go to breakfast. But guess what I did? I had a surprise for him. We're gonna take a helicopter ride. Yeah, hey, Pep, we're gonna take a helicopter ride. What? <laughs> First time in my entire life, I've never seen my father smile this much. He says, Matt, come up here. He says, what is it, Dad? You know, come up here and take one of those pictures. What do you call that? A selfie? I took a selfie with my father riding a helicopter on the, on the waterfalls of Hawaii. Fantastic experience. You know what he told my mother the other day while we're having breakfast? He says, hey, me, ask him that question. She goes, why don't you ask him that question? He goes, hey, Matt, do you think that you can get me a job at your company? Listen, my father hangs around our office. He's a big goof. It adds light and life to his life because I chose to no longer hang out in areas of convenience, but rather inconvenience because success and convenience don't hang out. Guess what started to happen to us? We started living a better life. We started making a lot more money. My wife and I are now expecting another baby and a lot of things are happening. Why? Because we chose to limit excuses take ownership of our situation, and live a better life. Hey guys, before I let you go, I promise you at the beginning of this video that I will send you this book from my office to your office or home if you tweet me the answer to this question. Are you ready? What is my three-step process to challenge somebody's position and overcoming their objections? All right, so that's a wrap. If you're watching this on YouTube, please, I hope I've earned a subscriber by you watching. If you got to this point of the video, I hope you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you click the notification to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. And if you're watching this on Facebook, I hope I earned another like on our page if you got to this point of the video. And you also drop your comments below about how you're eliminating excuses in your life so therefore you can achieve success sooner and faster. And make sure you should share this on your page because why? Sharing is caring. Until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.